Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we got to do is meet everybody in 149th Street at the bench. Hey dudes, welcome back to The Bench. Today we're kicking off our brand new series where we highlight you guys getting up. And if you'd like to submit for a chance to be part of the series, we'll have information for you at the end of the video. So kicking this off, we have Diba, who's catching a really nice spot here on a pretty much blank billboard. Now what I like about this spot specifically is he could have very easily have taken a spot where these other tags are, but he's not a coward. He's not somebody who's skittish, right? He hopped right up there and grabbed a prime spot. Now there is an additional road or walking path here, and I guarantee you more than enough people are going to be seeing this. Definitely a good spot. Now even though the B does look a little bit like a C in the throwy, we get to see his tag and it very clearly is a B there. Here he is rocking a pretty much daytime spot in the oven for everybody to see and somebody even hocks at him midway and he just keeps trooping on. Now before we head into the next one, if any of you guys are just learning graffiti, or you've been doing graffiti for a few decades and you feel like you're in a bit of a rut, pick up our brand new book we just released. It covers all of graffiti's fundamentals. Our book is the only how to do graffiti book in existence that covers this information. So if you want to get better at graffiti, check out the link in the description. Next up we have Ivis, which first and foremost, really dope name. Not an easy one, I'll tell you what. With that I, the V, the U, and the S, the S is about the only standard letter in this entire thing here, and the rest is just pure funk, in a good way. And I don't mean to tell take away the limelight from Ivis or anything, but look at those beautiful murals across the street and even a little bit of a straight letter there on the bridge. Now, I don't know where this guy lives, but I mean, clearly murals in graffiti are pretty common where he's at. He's got another mural right behind him. And I love to see the fact that he's rocking a tag here as well. Really, really nice. Here we get a first-hand view from Maps rocking his throwy, and you can see that he's going at a pretty steady pace. He's not really rushing his lines, and really reporting this out for the brand new graffiti artists who always feel the need to rush. It's a combination of not really being comfortable with getting up just yet, being nervous, as well as having this idea that throwies are meant to be as fast as they can possibly be. But the more you do graffiti and the more comfortable you become, the more you realize that you don't necessarily have to go at lightning speed. That doesn't mean you should be taking your time either, but you don't need to rush the process. And Maps demonstrates that pretty well. He's nice, comfortable, just rocking his spot at his own pace. Moving on, we have Mute. I like the unique aspect to his M here. The little bulge on the left hand side, the square top with the round bottoms, everything flows beautifully and looks gorgeous. He's also taking, once again, that steady pace, a nice, comfortable approach. You can tell that he's confident with his throwy. It's something that he's repeated plenty of times. But my favorite is this nice, dusted white fill-in. Not only is the spot perfect on that wall, but the execution on the throwy is really clean. Notice those uniform tops and those uniform bottoms between all all the letters. You'll be surprised when you look at your letter structures how much uniformity you can really get there and as a result how much flow you can get there.
All right, so for submission information for those guys who might be interested, if you'd like to submit to be part of the series, you can go ahead and tag us in your videos over on Instagram. Or if you have videos that you've posted on YouTube, or you just have them saved on your phone or your computer, you can always email them to us at any of the emails in the description down below. Now, some of you guys have submitted photos to us. We're not going to be putting photographs in this series. However, any photographs that you go ahead and submit to us will instead be putting in our traveling sketchbook. Like this right here. This traveling sketchbook is something that any of you guys can download for free. It's actually a digital sketchbook that you can draw inside of. And we encourage you to go ahead and do that, right? Draw inside of the sketchbook and we'll put that inside of the, well, traveling sketchbook in order to share with everybody. Dudes, I got the physical copies of the books. They're finally here. This book covers all of graffiti's fundamentals. It is the only book in existence that does that. So you're bound to learn something because a lot of this information has never been spoken about anywhere within the graffiti community. Grab yours with the links in the description down below. With that said, if you want the best how to do graffiti tutorials anywhere online, check out this playlist right up here with more graffiti content right down here. And I'll catch you guys back here next week. Thanks for watching.